Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Safe Touches Show. My name is Miss Grace. We are going to be joining you every week to talk about something called personal safety. Have you heard of personal safety before? Do you know what those words mean? Personal safety is all about keeping our bodies safe. So when we join you for the Safe Touches show every week, we are going to be talking about keeping your body safe. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, as you can see, I am social distancing at my home. And I have some puppet friends that are also social distancing at their home. And I was wondering if you might want to meet those puppet friends. Would you like to meet them? All right, let's do it. Why, hello, everybody. My name is Herbert, and it's so nice to meet all of you. Hi, everybody. My name is Petunia, and it's so nice to meet all of you. We are going to have so much fun together. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Eunice, and I love to talk about personal safety because keeping kids safe is my job. Well, hey, everybody. My name is Toby. And guess what? Guess what? My body belongs to me. And your body belongs to you. Isn't that so cool? Hey, Toby. So how are you doing today? Oh, hey, Herbert. Oh, my goodness. It's so nice to see you. Hey, Herbert. I am doing so well today. And I'll tell you why. My mom says that later today, I can go outside and ride my bike. It's going to be so much fun. I love riding my bike too. Actually, that reminds me of safety tools. Do you know about safety tools, Toby? Hmm, gee, well, safety tools, that, that kind of sounds like maybe something that I do that, uh, well, it keeps my body safe. Is that right, Herbert? That's exactly right, Toby. And I bet you and I can think of a bunch of ways that you can keep your body safe. Let's start with riding your bike. What do you do before you even get on your bike? Oh, well, you know, sometimes I forget to do this, right? And my mom, well, she has to remind me, but I always wear my helmet. That's right, Toby. That keeps your head safe in case you were to fall off your bike and bump your head. Now, what if you didn't have your bike and instead you were going on a walk with your mom? If you needed to cross the street, what could you do to keep your body safe? Oh, that's an easy one. So when I have to cross the street, I look both ways, like this. My mom, she always says, look left, then look right, and you cross when there's no cars in sight. I like that. Is there anything else you might do to keep your body safe while crossing the street? Hmm, well, you know, my mom likes it when I hold her hand. That's the one, Toby. Sometimes we have more than one safety tool for a situation. One more question, Toby. What about when you get in the car and go somewhere? What do you do then? Oh, Toby, that's, that's the one my dad's talking about. You have to put on your seatbelt until you hear the, the click. My dad always wants to hear the click. That's right, hear the click. Now, Toby, here's the question. Does dad ask you to put on your seatbelt because he thinks that there's going to be a car accident? Oh, well, no, Herbert, that's, that's never happened to us before. And does mom want you to wear your bike helmet because she knows that you're going to fall off your bike and bump your head? Well, well, no, Herbert, I'm really good at riding my bike. I bet you are, Toby. So why do we have safety tools? Why are we looking both ways when we cross the road and putting on our seatbelts? Hmm, well, you know, I hadn't really thought of that before. You know, I think it's, well, just in case something were to happen, then I would be protected. Toby, that's right. Do you know what we call that? Just in case. We use our safety tools not because we know something bad is going to happen, but just in case it does, we will be safe. Oh, just in case. Oh, I like that, Herbert. Do you see this? Just in case. In our videos over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be talking about safe touches and not safe touches. When we are talking about safe touches and not safe touches, we are also talking about just in case. 
we want you to know what to do in case a not safe touch happens. Hello everyone and welcome back. What did you think of those safety tools? Those safety tools that we use just in case. Do you know what my favorite safety tool is? I like to wash my hands super, super well for 20 seconds to keep all the germs away. It's a really great safety tool. Now, I'm wondering if my friend Eunice is here. Eunice, do you have a question for everyone, Eunice? Eunice, are you there? Hi, Grace, I did have a question. Friends, I wonder if you all have even more ideas for safety tools that you use. In fact, I'm going to give you something to talk about with the grown-ups that take care of you. What other safety tools do you use to keep your body safe? I think that you could create an entire list. Friends, did you hear Eunice's question? That sounds like our very first brainstorm at home. Let's talk about it. So here's what we want you to do. Get your thinking caps and put them on and then find a grown up in your house that you can talk to about this. Brainstorm about the safety tools that you use every day or maybe even every week. I bet the grown ups in your house can help you think of even more ways that you keep your body safe just in case. So friends, that is all that we have for you this week on the Safe Touches Show. We want you to join us next week as we continue to talk about personal safety and the safety tools. So friends, next week, we are going to talk about something called the bathing suit rule. Have you heard of that rule before? Join us next week and you will find out what that bathing suit rule is all about. We'll see you next week.